Hey guys, welcome back to my art life and for today's episode we are going to take a look at the Faber-Castell Tagfarben 21 color set. I got the set from National Bookstore for 439 pesos and 75 centavos and I'm very excited to share with you my thoughts and first impressions on this watercolor set. So without further ado, let's unbox it and see what it's all about. As you can see, this set come in a large case and the pens are large as well. So I guess these are full pens and take note that there are 21 colors included in this set. The top lid has the Faber-Castell logo and I like that it is transparent and you can see all of the colors inside. Although the type of plastic that the lid is made of is the type of plastic that can crack easily, so take extra care when storing your deck farben set. The lid also doubles up as a mixing palette and as you open the lid you'll see two nylon bristle brushes. I like that it comes in two sizes, one is number 7 and the other is number 5. Okay, so now let's take out our swatch sheet and let's swatch all of the colors of the deck farben. I'm really excited to see how vibrant these watercolors are. On the second layer, I like the shade of olive green that it has. This would be perfect for floral artworks. It also has magenta, which is very seldom included in watercolor sets. Magenta is a very useful color as it is one of the base colors that can make a wider range of shades and hues. It also has a readily available skin tone which is perfect when you like to make drawings of people or character illustrations. So far, I really like the range of color selection that this set has and they are all very useful in whatever type of illustration or drawing that you like to make, whether it's seascapes, landscapes, character illustrations, florals and many more.
Now, let's see how the colors blend. As we all know, some watercolors have color selections that will turn muddy when mixed together. Let's see if this will do the same. So here I'm going to attempt blending two colors together to make violet, orange and green. So far I'm very impressed at how the colors turned out. The results are vibrant and well blended. Let's also take another look at all of the colors we swatched earlier. I like how bold and vibrant these watercolors are and from what I noticed, it seems semi-opaque. Which means it has some coverage but not entirely. So guys, if you have more information on the Faber-Castell deck farben, just leave a comment below. Also, let us know what you think. Is this an opaque or gouache watercolor or is it more like a transparent watercolor? I'd love to hear about your thoughts on this. I also like the fact that this is not chalky so that is a definite plus for me. Okay, so now let's make something. And let's see how opaque these watercolors are by using black paper. Alright, so that's it for today's video and thanks for hanging out here in my art life and I hope you learned something new today. I also hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did and don't forget to try it out yourself. By the way, please help keep my art life active by liking this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now everyone and take care.